What's up guys, my name is Kaze and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new stuff in Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. And basically they added a ton of stuff in Infinite Warfare and the most, like, the feature of this is the Days of Summer event, which actually brought all this stuff into it. They also added some stuff in Black Ops 3, I might touch on that as well, or make a separate video about it. But uh, we're going to get into this video, but first I want to shout out someone for the shout out of the day. For the shout out. I want to give a shout out to Mr. ASAP TV. Thank you for part of being a part of the notification squad. Much appreciated. To do so, just follow the steps in the intro of the video. And also, guys, I have a second channel for in real life content. You guys can check that out in the description. Further ado, let's get into this. So, the first thing that really struck my eye was the Grandma Knows Best announcer pack. Now, if you guys were, um, you know, players of Call of Duty Ghost, you would know they added like a Snoop Dogg voice pack and a ton of others, like Soap voice pack and stuff like that. They added voice packs into the game, so your in-game characters, when they talk, they'll sound like certain somebodies. And now, this is the Grandma Knows Best Announce or pack. So, like, let's say you get a UAV. It'll be a grandma, I'm guessing. It was kind of crazy when I saw the image. And, by the way, shout out to Charlie Intel for having all this stuff on their site. Um, the link will be below. But when I saw this, I was like huh and then i took a look into it i was like okay that's pretty cool because i knew a lot of people wanted it to return because they thought it was cool so uh yeah they added that which is crazy and also besides the grandma knows best voice pack you can also get the ken jiang hopefully i said that right the method man the dizzy man reviews voice pack all for eight dollars it's like a bundle of four so if you guys are interested in the voices i mean go for it for me i wouldn't buy it but some people would some people think it's cool so it's all personal preference but it is eight dollars if you want to do so during this summer event if you log in every monday you would get a free supply drop and end every wednesday and and Friday for a free item from the Days of Summer collection. They also added four new weapons into the mix. A sniper um, and different weapons, which I'm going to talk about right now. So the guns that they added, they added a ballistic sniper rifle, another sniper slash like shotgun combo, a shotgun. And for the hero rigs, they actually added like some new things for the Warfighter, Omar, Merc, Rays, Synaptic, Ethan, FTL, Salter, Striker, Price, Phantom, and Ghost. So that's pretty cool. If you guys don't have the DLC for Infinite Warfare, basically, they are allowing you to play the Tourista map from DLC 2, which is pretty cool. So, if you guys never had a chance, you never bought it, you can hop on and play that Tourista map uh, through August 1st, 10 a.m. August 1st. So, I would uh, hop on today. If you guys want to play that, you have to August 1st, which is a good amount of time. But I think it's cool that they added that, so you can try it out. And then, if you like it, you can buy the map pack. But going back to the supply drop thing, so every Monday you will get a summer themed supply drop when you log in and then on Wednesday and Friday you'll get two free in-game gifts each week so that's kind of cool. It reminds me of when they had the Christmas special like that, that was pretty nice. And not only did they only add stuff to Infinite Warfare, they also added a bunch of stuff into Modern Warfare Remastered, which MWR kind of died down for a little bit. A lot of people still play it, but it kind of died down on the YouTube side of things. But until August 1st, you can play the Beach Bog Map, a daytime reimagine of the original Bog Map, which you guys know. Sniper Warfare on that map. A Beachcomber Prop Hunt. So it's a beach-themed fan-favorite Prop Hunt mode. I love Prop Hunt. Definitely go give that a go if you haven't already. You get one free summer theme supply drop each week just like infinite warfare so you get a supply drop and then there's limited time weapon camos emblems calling cards and other summer themed in the whole loot section of the game which is nice they added some new guns guys so the new guns that they added into mwr it was the Burid mk8 hopefully i said that right they also added the rangers shotgun and last but not least, an s Tech Aggressor. Hopefully I said that all right. Um, so a sniper, a shoddy, and a regular LMG. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys play MWR, definitely grind for supply jobs in that game and get those new weapons and noob out with that shotgun. Hold up, hold up. That's not it. In Call of Duty Black Ops 3, till August 1st, you guys can play Skyjack, Gauntlet, Rise, and Splash maps from the latest DLC, which those maps were kind of fun, okay? I like Skyjack, the Hijack Remastered, of course, Gauntlet, Rise, and Splash. I haven't played Gauntlet or Rise much, but Splash, the, you know, beach 
kind of the you know amusement park water park looking map where there was a big glitch at one point but besides the point you guys can play that for free now for the black ops 3 that all starts actually on the 11th of july until august 1st so mwr infinite warfare today it's live but for black ops 3 july 11th mark your calendars for that and there's also a new limited time weapon camo and other summer themed items in that loop pool starting july 11th so log in that day you know grind out the game get your supply drop stuff and all that good stuff summer themed items make sure you get that now guys that is about it for the video there was a lot of new stuff today for call of duty it is tuesday right yeah tuesday and you know that's usually when they do add stuff tuesday and thursday but uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments what you guys are going to be grinding infinite war for mwr or black ops 3 on july 11th to get that new pack a punch camo and just let me know what you guys feel about this update i think it's really cool they're really making the game enjoyable they're adding some new stuff to every single call of duty so whatever you prefer you can go ahead and play but i hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless i hope you guys have yourselves a great day stay fresh as always and peace out